to break it. Nothing to report. Over. Bracket to TK1. Confirmed. Maintain patrol. Bracket to TK2. What do you have to report? Over. TK2 to bracket. All seems quiet so far. Wait. I just detected something. Initiating deeper scans. My god. I am detecting 55 spots. It's emitting dangerous amounts of radiation. These appear to be nuclear weapons. Wait. They are nuclear missile silos. TK5 to bracket. I have just detected 78 spots emitting nuclear radiation at very high amounts. They appear to be nuclear missile silos. TK8 to bracket. I have detected 88 additional nuclear missile silos. I say again, I have detected 88 additional nuclear missile silos. TK69 to bracket. I am detecting 132 additional nuclear missile silos. I say again, I am detecting 132 additional nuclear missile silos. TK99 to bracket. I am detecting 200 additional nuclear missile silos. I say again, I am detecting 200 additional nuclear missile silos. My god! The ULC is carrying nuclear weapons! Dixie, forward the information to the Dondor Pentagon immediately! Well, ladies and gentlemen, if there are no further business, I'd like for us to touch on the President's proposal of establishing a new law that will help provide food, money, and other essential supplies for the unfortunate. If we can just- Excuse me, Mr. Secretary of State. Sorry to interrupt, but we have just received some disturbing information from a reconnaissance mission this morning over Parmesha. Transmit the information to the viewing screen immediately. What are those red spots? Apparently, these look like locations for nuclear missile silos. Nuclear missile silos? My god! Well, it appears the ULC has finally done it. It looks like that they are trying to plan what everyone had feared. Nuclear war. We must report this to the President at once. Good morning. I am Peter Johnson with the 6 o'clock news. Here is this morning's headlines. Recently, tensions have risen between the nations John Boyland and the ULOC. According to reports from reconnaissance groups from the John Boyland military, the ULOC is believed to be carrying nuclear weaponry. The president of John Boyland has ordered the entire military to stay alert, and its allies. The United Federation of Planets, the Canarian military, the Earth Federation, the Mushroom Kingdom, and the Earth Realm Republic are also having their entire military on full alert. The president of the ULOC, Jack McCoy, has warned that they will retaliate with deadly force if Don Boyland and its allies take military action against them. It is 6-12 here at Philadelphia. Stay tuned for the latest news, weather, and sports at the top of the hour. This is the 6 o'clock news in Philadelphia. Senshi City area. 
If you are not in this area, please tune to your local news station for updates. is being transmitted by order of the Nintendo City, Sagatropolis, Namco City, Animatropolis, Captain City, Sailor Senshi City, Square Enix City, Combat City, Crystal Tokyo, and Tecmo Koei City Police Departments. All broadcast and radio stations will transmit this message. The groups of terrorists have been identified as members of the United Law and Order Confederacy, or ULOC. Their demands are that ULOC secret police agents Jim Longworth, Olivia Benson, Robert Warren, and Walt Longmire are released from the Earthrealm military prison. They will take the hostages to Parmesha to be imprisoned and tortured if their demands are not met. More information will follow. This is WJPR and we will continue to serve the Sailor Senshi City area. If you are not in this area, please tune to your local news station for updates. City, Square Enix City, Combat City, Crystal Tokyo, and Tecmo Koei City Police Departments. All broadcast and radio stations will transmit this message. Several dozens of flashbangs went off in the areas containing the hostages, which then disappeared. The terrorists are believed to have taken them away. There was also a prison break at the Earthrealm military prison. All citizens are advised to stay indoors and lock all doors and windows. If you spot the terrorists or prisoners, call your local authorities immediately. More information will follow. This is WJPR and we will continue to serve the Sailor Senshi City area. If you are not in this area, please tune to your local news station for updates. Yes. <laughs> 
listening to the emergency alert system. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of Don Boyland. Good evening, my fellow Don Boyans. As of tonight, we have experienced a severe tragedy that is now plaguing the nation. One that some of us may have predicted, but hoped would never happen. A tragedy that has caused some of us to worry about the safety of our loved ones, and even lose sleep. First, terrorists belonging to the ULOC attack our major cities and kidnap tens of thousands of our own citizens. Second, some of the most dangerous war criminals that are of the ULOC escape from the Earth Realm military prison. And now this. 400 cruise missiles striking most of our major cities, killing 850,000 men, women, and children injuring 750,000 others, and causing almost 500,000 people to be either displaced or homeless. This is truly one of the worst events that the entire world has ever seen. However, I believe with all my heart that in the midst of all the hellish agony and darkness, that there is a beacon of hope. We have fought many enemies, such as the Shadowloo Syndicate, Andros, Shinra Electric Power Company, Bowser, Umbrella, and the former Doe Attack. We have fought all these enemies and have triumphed even in the most darkest hours. And the events of today, my friends, are no different. Support teams are tending to the damages and injured. Buildings can be replaced, but the lives of all those who were massacred can never be replaced. Our hearts and prayers go out to those affected by this disaster, including those that have lost a friend or loved one due to this tragedy. The ULOC has done a great injustice to this nation and its many allies, and their acts and any future acts of terror will not, I repeat, not be tolerated. As such, I have issued a declaration of war against the United Law and Order Confederacy and our military and the militaries of all our allies are already being dispatched to bring our enemies to justice. 
I know that there are those of you out there watching and listening who are scared and who may have lost all hope. However, I assure you, my fellow Don Boyans, that despite this tragedy and the horrible effects of it, Don Boy Land will not, I repeat, will not be broken. I promise you, the terrorists, the war criminals, and the leaders and officials of the ULOC, including its president, Jack McCoy, and including its secret police, will all pay for their cold-hearted and merciless crimes. I would like to end this message with a few passages from the Bible. Psalm 144, verses 1 and 2. Blessed be the Lord my strength, which teacheth my hands to war, and my fingers to fight, my goodness and my fortress, my high tower, and my deliverer, my shield, and he in whom I trust, who subdueth my people under me. Psalm 77, verses 1 to 3. I cried unto God with my voice, even unto God with my voice, and he gave ear unto me. In the day of my trouble I sought the Lord. My soul ran in the night and seized not. My soul refused to be comforted. I remembered God and was troubled. I complained and my spirit was overwhelmed. Selah. Deuteronomy chapter 20, verses 1 and 4. The Lord speaking. When thou goest out to battle against thine enemies, and seest horses, and chariots, and a people more than thou, be not afraid of them, for the Lord thy God is with thee, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. For the Lord your God is he that goeth with you, to fight for you against your enemies to save you. And finally, Revelation chapter 21, verses 7 and 8. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in a lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. God will protect us and he will punish our enemies. May the Lord God Almighty and Jesus Christ be with us all and be with you all, my fellow Don Boyans, as we endure this agony. May God be with us all. Good night, my fellow Don Boyans, and may God bless you all. And remember, there is always hope. With God, all things are possible. With God, there is always hope, even in the toughest of times. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. God will not put any more on us than we can handle, and he will always, and I do mean always, show us a way out. Thank you for your attention, my fellow Don Boyans, and good night, and God bless. There was a message from the president of Don Boy Land. This is WJPR, and we will continue to serve the Sailor Sushi City area. You are listening to the emergency alert system. If you are not in this area, you should now tune to a local news station containing news and information. As you know, the nation of Don Boylan was crippled by a tragic event that led to many lives lost, many people injured, and many people either displaced or homeless. We have set up this conference to assure both our citizens and the world that we will take action immediately. As of 5.45 a.m., military units have set foot on the ULOC home country of Parmesia. We are taking every action to stop our enemies. As far as the hostages, the president has sent the following groups, the VSA, the Hate Views on Mutant Tension Clans, the Hazard Team, and Public Security Section 9. They are doing whatever they can to send all of the hostages home. Now, here is Secretary of Defense, Master Chief Spartan 117 to explain military operations. Thank you, Mr. Secretary of State. Our current and primary concentration for now in the case of military units in Parmesia is to prevent further invasions on the nation as well as any invasion of our allies in other countries around the world. 
Our air units are now engaging in bombing runs on several major military outposts on the east side of Armisha. Our ground and sea units are focusing on destroying enemy bases on the west side of the country. As far as the hostage situation, we will be providing both ground and air support to the groups assigned to rescue the hostages. We are currently working with these groups to devise an effective strategy to rescue and bring all of the hostages safely back to Dunboyland. That is basically all, but we will now accept questions. You sir, at the back of the room. This is John Tiller with the BBC News. My question for the Secretary of Defense is this, aside from preventing future invasions, are there any actions taken to defend the nation against future attacks? Yes there is, Mr. Tiller. All military outposts and defense fleets around the nation of Don Boylan are on full alert at all times. ICBM launchers are on standby to intercept any more cruise missiles. Are there any more questions? You men at the left center of the room. This is Susan Roman of the CBS News. My question is for the Secretary of State. What kind of support is being given to those affected by the disaster, including the homeless? We are giving as much support as possible. One of our allies, the United Federation of Planets, is currently sending huge amounts of food, water, clothing, and medical supplies to the shelters in affected cities. They are also assisting in rebuilding efforts. Thank you for asking. Are there any more questions? You man at the front center. I am Tina Olivia with the Global New South Africa branch. I have a question for the Secretary of State, one that many are wondering about. Is there going to be another invasion on Don Boyle's soil? I assure you, Ms. Olivier, that we are making sure that there is not a repeat of yesterday's tragedy. As the Secretary of Defense stated, all military outposts and defense fleets are at full alert at all times. Actions are also being taken to protect civilians and homeland security is also on full alert to prevent any more terrorists from entering this country. If there are no further questions, then this concludes this press conference. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for your time. Good morning, and welcome to the Global News in Australia. I'm Stanley Becker. And I'm Tara Larson. Here is today's headlines. The government of Don Boland has recently declared war against the United Law and AMP, or the Confederacy after several attacks on some of the nation's military outposts and cities, resulting in the deaths of 40,000 people and over 25,000 kidnapped. President Don Boy 65 has ordered the dispatching of the BSAA from Resident Evil, the Hay Abuse and Ninja Clan from Ninja Gaiden, the Mugent Tension Clan from Dead or Alive, the Hazard Team from Star Trek, and Public Security Section 9 from Ghost in the Shell to initiate rescue operations to rescue the hostages. President Don Boy 65 also made a statement that any further acts of terror made on Don Boy and soil will not be tolerated. So far, no demands are made by the Ululoki yet. Our senior correspondent, Leah Harvey, has just returned from a press conference at the Don Boy House. Leah, what can you tell us? Well, Tara, the Secretary of State Joe Biden and Secretary of Defense and Master Chief have issued a statement that troops have been deployed at Parmesha, the home country of the ULOC. Their main focus is preventing future invasions. They are advising citizens to stay calm to avoid mass panic. When asked about troops have been deployed for defense, Master Chief stated that all military bases in Don Blaine are on full alert at all times. That is all for now. Back to you. Thank you, Lira. The Global News has been covering this story for some time and earlier today I caught up with Kasumi from Dead or Alive, Don V65's wife and First Lady. Madame First Lady, thank you for taking time to talk with us. I would like to ask, how is the situation in the country holding up? Well Stanley, we have tended to the damage caused by the attack forces deployed by the ULOC. Citizen morale is at moderate levels. 
The war against ULOC was what we hoped would never happen, but had predicted since Jack McCoy overthrew Ben Stone as leader. We will make sure that the hostages are rescued and the ULOC officials and politicians are brought to justice. Were there any more invasions by the ULOC military? Fortunately no. The military is on full alert and our allies are giving us military support for both Dumboyland and in the battlefield, so future invasions are highly unlikely. What would you like to say to our viewers watching that are concerned about this crisis? Do not lose hope. If my husband were here, he would quote the Bible. In fact, I will quote in his stead. Blessed be the Lord my strength which teacheth my hands to war, and my fingers to fight. My goodness and my fortress, my high tower, and my deliverer my shield, in he in whom I trust who subdueth my people under me. That was my interview with First Lady Kasumi. In other news, ULOC President Jack Mackey has released a statement that he will not release the hostages, nor stop his nuclear weapon programs. A statement was issued by ULOC secret police agent Olivia Benson that they have no intention of releasing the hostages. President Don B65 has assured the citizens of Don Blaine that when Jack Mackey and all those involved with the ULOC are captured that they will be tried for dozens of war crimes against humanity. It's 7.14 here at the Global News Australia branch. Stay tuned for more news, weather, and sports at the top of the hour. This is the Global News in Australia.